Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in, fam. I do appreciate you all. What are you doing today? Please comment in the comment section below. Tell me how your day has been going. I really do appreciate all your love and support, Collective. And also, let me know if you like the new setup, okay? I know I had a couple setups that I was playing with, but we got ourselves together for 2023, okay? So let me know how you guys are liking it. Um, let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants you to know. I've already meditated over the energies. Keep in mind, I'm going to say he, she, male, female, divine feminine, divine masculine. Take it where it resonates. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. If you resonate with the message, I'll just pray. If you don't, please do not make the story fit. Take it resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus' name. All right, hold it. The messages of clarity and truth. Ooh, strategy. Spirit is saying that you need to create a plan. Get your game plan in order, okay? Set some goals. I feel like somebody is gaining knowledge as well. On the bottom of the deck, you have Angel of Strength. All right, so Spirit is sending your spirit team around you to help you gain your full potential and power. All right, Spirit is taking you on a new journey. Spirit is saying that you've been patient, and if you haven't, you need to be patient. Door to Spirit is opening up. You're getting some type of downloads, some type of messages. All right, you may be seeing feathers around as well, coins on the ground. That's your messages from your angels letting you know that they are surrounding you. You also have Archangel Michael, okay, right behind it with the heart chakra. So spirit may be trying to activate your heart chakra and balance you, all right? It could be with the love connection or spirit is trying to just trying to get you in the realm of compassion, okay, or set you up to have a more positive attitude and outlook on life, okay? Um, or spirit just may be trying to get you to tap into your emotions, all right, because you've been full of anxiety. I really do feel like I'm talking to someone who has been anxious. What else? What is this? Temple path. If you guys have been seeing like a lot of orbs around yourself, Spirit is saying that's angels, okay? Like I said, you may be seeing feathers or coins or something on the ground, but there's heavily some type of pure and holy energy around you. It could be a, a family member that passed on as well, son, okay? You got Archangel Ariel, second chakra, okay? Could have something to do with expressing your needs, your desires, Okay, your happiness. Look, you got man holding a heart right behind it. And you also have hostilities. There's been some type of conflict and chaos. Some type of deceit surrounding you, collective. Something is making you anxious. I feel like it's throwing you off. All right, but something is being illuminated. You could be dealing with a, um, a water sign or a fire sign. The sun is here, a Leo. Okay. But spirit is letting you know that you don't have to worry because whatever is happening is going to be illuminated. I'm going to get one more. Whatever this strategy is, is going to set you up for cornucopia, your happiness. But you just have to tap into it in order to get to it. Right now, I feel like I'm talking to someone who's unhappy or is trying to find their clarity on how to tap into their happiness. Somebody's yearning. There's some type of envy, some type of guardedness around as well. All right. I do feel like somebody's defenses is up. Um, you may be dealing with a twin flame. Okay. So let's see. Holy Spirit, why are these messages here? Let's see what the collective needs to know. Let's see if this is pertaining to love because I really do feel like it is. Man holding the heart was on the bottom of the deck. So that could be you or a man holding a heart is surrounding you. Why are these messages here, Holy Spirit? Engagement, marriage, next level of commitment. Grateful. And you also have don't leave me. Ooh, somebody may be married in this situation or engaged. All right. You were trying to figure out how to get to this happiness, this next level of commitment, or possibly you may be a, a, a wife or a husband, all right, that is trying to leave something, 
leave a commitment, all right? It says you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Be thankful for the now. Spirit is saying focus on the present moment, okay? You also have the sun right there in the middle of it. Something is being illuminated. Your happiness is on the way. You have to let go of something or walk away from something. You could be this man holding a heart that needs to walk away from something. Or I'm talking to a feminine. Take it where it resonates. On the bottom of the deck, it says pay what you owe. Karma, you receive what you put out. Karma is just another word for lessons. All right, so there may have been some type of third party involvement or you guys just couldn't get on the same page or somebody, like I said, was being very deceptive in this relationship and it's coming out. It's, it can't be hidden anymore. Let's see what this is about. Holy Spirit, and this is just a clarity and truth for the collective. Let's look. Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with the Taurus. It has something to do with commitment, of course. A union. Holy Spirit. Why are these messages here? Please tell me. Why are these messages here? Yeah, Hierophant, y'all. I can't make this up. This is deep. Okay? It's about a spiritual covenant between you and another individual. Alright? You and a husband or a wife. Okay? I feel like both of you guys have very strong values but somebody did not hold up their end of the bargain somebody stepped out of the covenant or did something to potentially break it on the bottom of the deck you got eight of pentacles ace of wands oh ace of wands ace of pentacles the sun in reverse somebody was working on something for some of you i ain't gonna even lie there's a baby somewhere, okay? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has been working on starting a new sexual relationship with someone and it resulted in a baby, okay? I'm getting there real heavily. This is crazy. Sun in reverse. Look, you got sun right here and a baby. But it came out in reverse, okay? The sun can mean fertility as well, okay? So maybe someone planted seeds somewhere else was working on something, another relationship or establishing another relationship outside of this marriage. There's the queen of wands in reverse right behind it. Okay. You may have found out that your person had a mistress or if this is a masculine I'm talking to. You may have found out that your person has another man on the outside. Look, you got the hangman in reverse. Somebody has been in deep thought, but they've been illuminated about this and somebody's upset. What else? This is crazy. Like, I, I feel like a lot of readings have been coming up, and I've been seeing this on other readers' channels as well. A lot of infidelities have been happening that are resulting in babies, okay? I'm just seeing that a lot. And it's crazy how a lot of individuals are not taking their covenants seriously their spiritual covenant their union that they made before god with others and it, it's really disheartening you know because you put your person in the position to leave you it's a, it's going to affect the relationship okay it could possibly tear up the relationship i mean you have people that are able to overcome the obstacle as well trust me i understand however this is just this is crazy Death in reverse. Yeah. Rebirth. Transformation. Something has been delayed. But somebody was working on something. It came out again. It came out again in the same order, you guys. A baby. What else? This. Somebody took a leap of faith with somebody. Ultimate betrayal. Yeah. Somebody literally took a leap of faith with someone else, a mistress, another man, and is tearing up this relationship. Somebody's very angry, very pissed off, very upset, and trying not to blow. Yeah, but you got the world in reverse. Something is being delayed. There's still an open-ended cycle. For some of you, this baby is already um, created and on the way and isn't born yet. All right? But look, you got the lovers in reverse. Spirit is saying that this covenant is broken. 
It was a divine covenant, now it's in reverse, but it's an open-ended cycle. What is? It left somebody juggling. Somebody's trying to figure out what to do, how they're going to tell their person this, or if they haven't told them already, a strategy on how to talk about it, how to get back to this happiness. Justice. Yeah, but Spirit is saying that whatever it is, it's going to be balanced out. It's going to come out in due time. I feel like divine timing is into play. It, it's not going to be hidden. Yeah, it's not going to be hidden. Whoever's trying to hide it can't hide it anymore. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, manifesting. All right, watching something grow. Somebody's pregnant and the baby is on the way. Whatever they're hiding is not going to be hidden. I'm going to get one more. And somebody is on the bird. Look, the moon. Look, you could be dealing with a, a, a Taurus, a Scorpio. All right, you got the fool. Aries. Could be dealing with a, a Cancer or a Pisces. But I'm telling you, this is bad news coming. And it's going to leave somebody in their head because this emperor, this emperor is not taking action. They're not telling their person what's in the background. I feel like somebody's going to wind up getting um, blindsided by this information. See, you have the Knight of Pentacles. It was super slow. Yeah, it's a baby, y'all. Look, come on now. This is a baby. It's not going to be hidden. Pay look, you got the Page of Cups. You got the Knight of Pentacles. You got the Star. That's, that's, that screams baby. Star, fertility. All right? Cups, water, fluidity, pregnancy. All right? Page of Cups, fish in a cup. Okay? It's going to bring burdens. I mean, babies are blessings, but it's going to burden whoever is on the uh, opposite end of this relationship. Whoever's being betrayed, okay? And somebody is in deep meditation because now they understand because of their addictions and their transgressions, it's going to possibly wind up ending in a divorce. King of Pentacles reverse, okay? The marriage is going to be over and then someone is going to be heartbroken. Three of Swords because of their... Uh, greediness because of their um, their uh, hollow victories and misconceptions and deceptions. All right, ten of cups. This person wants their wish fulfillment, but I'm telling you, it's it's not gonna work. How it's not gonna work out how they think it's gonna work out. They might as well just go ahead and tell their person and give them the option to try to heal it or leave. Instead of just hiding it, you might as well just go ahead and, and say what you need to, bro. All right. Or sis, take it where it resonates. All right. So let's see what else. Spirit wants you to know. Oh, Spirit, what else do we need to know about this relationship? The situation? This marriage? And how it's being affected. Can you be with us if the collective needs to know? Sugar mama. Spirit is saying there is a feminine out there that has been giving to another masculine, possibly a younger masculine or the same age, you know, doesn't have to be. But someone has been contributing financially to someone else, someone else's household. A message from the side piece. It's not my fault you can't make your lover happy. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to a, a feminine who is pregnant by their uh, side dude. Okay. And the side dude wants to contact the, the husband and let them know, you know, hey, you know, she won't be coming over here to me if you were giving it to her on a regular. All right. But somebody is hiring a private investigator to figure out what this issue is. Somebody in the background knows. I feel like spirit is tipping somebody off. I'm telling you, there's ancestors and angels all around this masculine who's being deceived. Because I feel like I'm talking to a feminine that is uh, pregnant by somebody else. Okay. Look, you got, I want a polyamorous relationship. So this, this feminine, 
okay? Possibly your wife or your fiance collective, because I feel like I'm talking to a masculine. You take it where it resonates, okay? But this sugar mama, this wife wants a polyamorous relationship. She wants her husband and she wants her boyfriend, okay? Look, it says, these women ain't loyal. They see my car and my money, so I give them the bare minimum. See, I'm telling you, this is a younger dude this uh, woman is messing with, sugar mama. She's older, and she's pregnant by somebody younger than her, all right? He may be, you know, for the streets. He may be a thug dude. I mean, I don't know. He may be, you know, someone who is a bad boy, and you may like that, you know? Take it where it resonates, whoever I'm talking to and whoever this resonates with, okay? But <laughs> somebody wants to meet in the middle. And I do feel like this feminine wants to tell her husband, hey, I don't want to end the relationship. I know it's possible that you may leave me, but I would rather us talk about being in a polyamorous relationship now that this baby is on the way because I don't want you to go because I want to be with you, but I want to be with him too. What? Ooh. The nerve, the audacity, all right? I don't know who this resonates with, but this is a hot ass mess. I ain't gonna even lie. What else? Expect a pop up. Look, the husband ain't playing. Spirit is tipping this person off. Also, um, the husband is being tipped off by this private investigator. If this sugar mama thinking that she's getting away with it, she's not. This private investigator knows that she's pregnant. And if he doesn't know that she's pregnant, he knows that she's meeting up with this younger uh, boyfriend of hers. I found these, but they are not mine. Explain. Yeah, the husband may have found some type of handcuffs. Secret pregnancy. I can't make this up. Secret pregnancy. Y'all, I can't make y'all. I'm going to throw these cards. Holy Spirit, I'm going to throw these cards. Secret pregnancy. This man holding the heart found either some... some some handcuffs, some something, some draws possibly, and said, hey, uh, babe, uh, I know you into lingerie and stuff like that, but these are a little racy, all right? These are a, a little kinky. I ain't never seen you in these. You ain't never worn these for me. Where are these draws coming from, all right? These panties I didn't buy, and we definitely didn't get them from Victorious, all right? The secret ain't secreting right now. Is being exposed it says you know the person that they are cheating with spirit is saying that you possibly may know if you're the masculine if you're this husband you may know this younger boyfriend that your person is sleeping with what else I'm hearing agenda. There is some type of secret agenda. And I think Spirit is trying to stress the fact that this woman, she really wants her cake and eat it too. She's really adamant about this polyamorous relationship. Spirit is saying if you're the masculine, you need to go in deep meditation. This is a, it, this should be a non-negotiable for most people. I don't know what y'all masculines are into collective. Take it where it resonates, you could be a feminine. But if this is not conducive to a healthy relationship that you signed up for or looking forward to, Spirit is saying do not partake in it, okay? This is a hit, this is an, an agenda, okay? This is a setup. And for some of you, this feminine, because money is into play, maybe you guys are wealthy together as a couple, this person may be wanting you to stay because they want you to supply the lifestyle that they they have along with keeping their younger boyfriend and possibly want you to take care of them too. Right. Same won't work. Holy Spirit, messages of One more. Saying meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. Meet me in the middle. When are you going to say something? Ooh! And has the audacity to be adamant about the response. How are they going to rush you, collective? Have they even given you time to consider? Are you saying not no, but hell no? 
You know what I'm saying? But this person really is asking you a question like, okay, I, 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 I want to tell you about this now that it's exposed for some of you. Now that it's exposed, I want to know what you think about it. Are you going to say something? Are you going to say, yeah, because it's what I want? On the bottom of the deck, you got lost the game. I keep doing the same S over and over. Stupid stuff. So this sugar mama is used to getting with younger guys. Used to having third party relationships. And see, it says checkmate, side pieces. Now the main thing, game over. Y'all saying no. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The masculine spirit is saying, for some of you, if this situation has already played out, Spirit is saying the masculine, the man holding the heart, called checkmate on this feminine, the sugar mama. Saying, no, nah, you can do you, but you can do you over there. Let's go on and sign these papers. What's that song by Usher? I'm ready to sign those papers. Telling y'all, game over. All right. Somebody threw their phone, found out the information, possibly from the phone and the private investigator or additional information. Telling you. And the sugar mama possibly have been flying out this younger boyfriend, catching flights, all right? Trying not to catch feelings, but caught feelings and caught a baby, all right? Let me go ahead and get you guys some advice because this is a mess. Holy Spirit for this mask on. What's the advice for the person on the receiving end of this? What advice could you give for the collective pertaining to this relationship? What's the advice, the final advice? What's the advice? Old habits die hard. Old habits. It says an old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. Spirit is saying that this person is an addiction. Your wife, fiance, whoever this is to you. Spirit is saying that this person does this time and time again. This is nothing new. It's new to you, but it's not new to them. Spirit is saying old habits die hard and they finally got caught. Checkmate. All right. Game over. Sex career transition. Your soul is yearning for a career transition. You're yearning aligned with passion and purpose. Spirit is saying that now that this has happened or whenever this plays out, Spirit is saying focus on your career transition because this may affect your money. You may have to do something different. You may have to switch up your game pertaining to your finances. All right, Spirit is saying for some of you, masculines, you're an entrepreneur. It says be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. Spirit is saying that a blessing is coming through. You're dodging a bully with this person. If you haven't married this person yet, good for you, okay? You can go out there and make your money you know, level up on this person and move forward and don't look back, okay? Spirit is saying that you're facing the mirror, all right? Everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world. This person has taken you out of character, okay? And they're showing you their destructive behavior and it has been breaking you down. Spirit is saying that you need to go in hibernation mode and you need to heal your energy and cleanse it, okay? It's time for your soul to be alone in meditation and rest, all right? And it says that, you know, you have the natural ability to heal yourself and others. So you have a mission that needs to be met. Spirit is saying that you have to disconnect and detach from this person so that you can actually fulfill your purpose going forward. That's the reason why Temple Path is here. Spirit is saying be grateful. Be grateful. The sun illuminated this madness. All right? Your angels and your spirit team literally guide you out of this. All right? Time to move forward. I love you guys. I hope this really helps somebody in the collective. All right? Keep continuing to be a seeker of truth. All right. Know your worth. Know your standards. Set your expectations and boundaries. I love you guys. Comment below if you resonate with the message. And don't forget to like the video. I'll see you in the next video, my lovely hearts. All right. Bye.